Hey everyone, Andrew here, and this is my Motorola Droid Turbo after three years of daily use. Yeah, and look at this. It has, um, let me just take off the polarizer here for a second. Just not messing with the screen. Look, this is, th this is it. Hello, hi, there's you back there in the camera. Um, this is the phone though. And it, my camera hates focusing. I've gone through so many of these um, screen protectors on here. They are so helpful. I got a lifetime warranty on the screen protector because I go through so many of them. So then they just replace them for free. You just put in for another one and it'll show up a few days later, week later. And then you just go in and get it put on or put it on yourself, even though that kind of is messy sometimes. I've broken a ton of these and just a few days ago I broke this one um, which is started here and then I uh, kind of spider webbed it out here and then in a shot that you'll see in a minute is actually that right there. Oops I didn't mean to do that no. It's a four-year-old phone now I've had it for over three years and it has been a wonderful phone. Verizon had an advertisement of this phone. It was the Verizon Win Win Win, and it, it's been a very nice phone to me. Um, it has a 3,900 milliamp battery. It's two days of average use on those 3,500 milliamps, and that is the best thing ever you could ever have in a phone. Two days of average use in a phone is amazing and for me um for two and a half years it did that it actually did have two days worth of being uh, usable like you didn't have to charge it every night which was really nice even though i charged it most nights which probably killed the battery some but um the last half ish year um the battery's kind of been dying where I've had to charge the phone um, every night for sure because it was just dying right away. Just my average use in a day, then it went from two days of average use to one day of average use and I had to charge it every night. And then um, the last like month or two, it's, I've even had to charge it in kind of like the afternoon just because of it and like I can be doing absolutely nothing just leaving it somewhere and it'll have um gone down 20 percent which that's no that's big bad no so I'm am getting a new phone and I will be reviewing that too but this is a testament to this phone and Motorola to see how good this phone has been to me over three years of use. And look at this case. Okay, what's funny is this is an OtterBox. This is an OtterBox and it's not supposed to break. And look, broken, broken, and all the little flaps, like the flap to cover up the jack up here and the charging one down here, all, um, broken came off it's a good case but it's also broken that tells you though how much i use my phone i don't purposely beat up my phone but it does get abused i don't purposely go out and beat up my phones to see how sturdy they are or how good their build quality is but just in day-to-day -day life it just gets beat up from getting dropped or falling out of pockets that's a big one my pants they just like slide right out of them like this these athletic pants it's just a super slippery material and uh that's one thing about the case is that the case it's not the most grippy because the whole back is plastic um you just have the little rubber pieces on the sides there but after a month or so after I got it, I got used to it and you just have to grab onto it. I've tossed it around, spun it around, be 
beat it up. I've thrown it against the wall. Actually, I haven't done those last two. If you look here on the end here where the buttons are, you can see that they have been completely smashed in. Like, look at that. That's so smashed in. Like, these buttons would actually come up and then you press them, but fingernails just start smashing them. And you can see, like, just how smashed in and the fingernail marks all in there. It's like, holy cow, that's that's what happens with three years of use. If you take off the case here, you have this piece, you can see it's really broken. And then you take off this rubber piece here and bam, you have your phone. And look at this beautiful back. Oh man, the, this phone though, like, Look, it, nothing, there's no like super sharp edges anywhere and it's just beautiful. Yeah, I got the blue trim. So you have it on the speaker here, which is just one bar across the top. You have it around the camera and then you have it on the droid symbol right there. These flashlights are amazing. These two things right here. Um, so one of the cool things with Moto is you shake it twice you shake it to there, and then, bam, super bright flashlight. Like, it's super cool. And look at those lens flares. That just looks so cool. Okay, and then you turn it off, shake it, it's awesome. One of the features that I love on this thing and that I don't think is on, like, any other phone, and I am really gonna miss um, when I get my new phone, is there's a little sensor way up here that you can just swipe your hand over and it brings up if you have any notifications. And that is amazing. So you don't have to like, just pick up your phone, press the button on the side, and then tell you whatever. Also has the blue trim on the blue buttons on here. So you have your lock button, and then you have your volume up and down. And these like, they have like super fine groove like, Take a minute to admire this phone. It's not the thinnest phone ever, but it is amazing. Like, look at that. It's so nice. This right here, it's like, Andrew, is that carbon fiber? No, it looks like carbon fiber. It's actually like a ballistic nylon is what they call it. And it is really durable. It's, it's very nice. Now I'm not gonna stab a knife in that because I don't want to ruin it, but you probably could. I don't want to do what I did to my screen. Feel on the back is so nice. It's like, it feels like a carbon fiber, even though it's not. It also has the camera here and the back camera, which is like 21 megapixels. It is 32 gigs of uh, storage, which is not enough. And that's probably the biggest reason why it wouldn't be a good phone today is because it's only 32 gigs. And with the operating system, it takes, you only have like 22 gigs or something like that, 26, I don't know. So I have filled this thing up and like right now I have a few gigs open, but if you want to put any sort of mass amount of music on it, this phone will not hold it. If you don't take the pictures off your phone every few months, like you will fill it up with pictures too. On the topic of cameras, this camera is not a video camera. It does video, but it looks like garbage. So if you want video in a phone, I mean, you can't even buy these at the Verizon store anymore. But if you want a phone, with video capability, this specific Droid Turbo is not the phone for you. I can't say anything about the Droid Turbo 2 or any of the new Moto phones, but um, this one, it's not video. You like how this is all stained? It's like all dirty from being exposed right there. Like everything else was covered up so it didn't get dirty, yeah. This version of the phone, with, like with the ballistic, um, it doesn't have um, the expandable memory 
chip thingy, like putting in a micro SD so then you can have more storage. Like if it had it, I would have 64 more gigs in this thing already. And then it'd be a perfectly fine phone for storage. Like that would be great. So this thing, it gets very bright. This is on a, uh, it's not the lowest setting, but exposed to my face right now in the camera. Like this looks pretty good. Um, this is just a setup screen I made for this video, but just to show you um, how stuff looks. Um, there's plenty of cool widgets you can put on it. I like the buttons down here, how they're not actually a part of the screen. I really like that. Um, so in screenshots, which is just the uh, uh, lock button and the lower volume button there, you just hold those for a few seconds and then it takes a screenshot. The screenshots then don't have the buttons in the bottom, which I like a lot. The sound quality on the speaker, eh, eh. Um, uh, the audio jack up here, I use the audio jack all the time, and for number one, phone companies, do not get rid of your audio jack. Do not be like Apple. Um, I don't have any wireless headphones, and I don't plan on buying any. I love my wired, and except it getting tangled up, but that's what you sign up for when you use wired. Um, but I have used this thing so much that I think that I've bent some things in there like the contact points so like i had to twist the thing the audio jack around to like actually get full sound not full volume but like have all the frequencies being sent to the headphones like it's really weird but that's what has happened if i kept this phone for another three years let's say i definitely have the audio jack replaced but for it working perfectly for two years, that's great. You can add the option of having like this Google thing um, at the top here. If you don't want that, you can get rid of it. Um, this stock background, there's plenty of them. And I actually really like this one. It's just um, like purple and blue um, bubbles and like little lines just going up at a little bit of an angle, I think is very cool. Like the animated wallpapers. That's super cool. You have your apps and whatever, and if you want it, you can have like Spotify or like SoundCloud or Google Play Music um, widget that takes up like a whole bar here, and you can do stuff. You can have calendar, which is super cool. On this phone right now, I have a whole screen. Like you can have multiple screens on here, and I have one whole screen made for the calendar so like all this space is all calendar and it shows the whole month and it is wonderful you have your home app bar thing this button here that goes to all your apps software is android so what do you expect so that's what you're getting and i should say i have used iphones and androids like i have not personally owned an iphone but I have used an iPhone a ton, and I don't prefer either one too much. Um, what I love, though, on Androids that I hate on the iPhones is the picture storage. On an Android, the picture storage is you plug it into your computer, you tell it to transfer files, then you go in your computer, you find um, DCIM or... Um, pictures on there there's two different folders and then you just grab what you want of the pictures on there copy them over cut them over paste them whatever you want to do and you're done iphones it's a lot harder i've seen it where they just have them um just have a bunch of pictures crammed into these random named folders in the depths of hell of your phone to go find them and that just doesn't sound fun. Music on here, it's not quite as easy as I like it to be, um, just because of the Google Play music. Like, I wish the app would just um, find the um, album name and just do that, like, of the MP3 files instead of um, you having to set them. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's finicky. It's weird. You just throw your music in a folder on here and then the app picks it up. You don't have to go through iTunes, which I personally hate iTunes so much. Phone, 
very nice and it's kind of lightweight. It uh, fits in your pocket. The display diagonally, it's over five inch display and then the phone diagonal, it's like six inches. So it's, it's a nice size phone. The camera, like with one of the Moto actions, it's you twist it there and then it turns on the camera. It has HDR and the HDR is actually very nice. Compared to nowadays cameras on phones, this is not great. It doesn't have two um, cameras. It doesn't have optical zoom. It has four times digital zoom. The HDR has a very nice dynamic range, but that's what it stands for and you hope it would. Some of my best pictures aren't all on this DSLR or my old DSLR. They've been on this phone and they look good. Obviously it would have looked a little bit better with the DSLR. Now it's not low light at all. No way is it low light. It's really good. It was amazing for the time. It's not amazing, but it's really good. And I love it, but I'm really looking forward to getting a better camera on a phone. I play games on this phone. This phone does get hot though. The screen does get really hot. If you're on like the highest brightness, it gets hot real quick. If um, you're just watching at even lowest brightness for like an hour or something. If you touch the screen, it's hot, but it's fine. The phone doesn't explode. It hasn't exploded on me. Um, it also does wireless charging. So you can set your phone on the thing and then it charges and that's even with the case on. So you don't have to take off the case every time you want to charge it through induction. Motorola, amazing phone. I love it. I've used it for over three years. And is it a modern phone? No, just because camera and storage, those are the two things that make this not hold up to modern equivalent. But besides for those two things, this thing is amazing. The battery on this thing, best battery ever in a phone. And at the time it was the best battery in a smartphone when it came out. I think all phones nowadays should have a two day uh, average use battery life. That is amazing, the best thing. I don't care about thickness, so if you want to cram a huge battery in your phone and it makes it a little bit bulkier, I don't care. I would rather have the battery life. Add this feature to your phones. I love it so much. I don't want to press a button. What what are we, scrubs from the 19th century? Like having to touch your phone to, to turn on, to see if you have any new notifications? No, you just want to handle a seamless swipe. Thanks for sticking around just talking about my phone for the last three years, but it's, it's a testament to what Motorola has done with this phone. It's amazing. Awesome features, love this feature, gonna miss this feature. Um, two day battery life, every phone should have it. Just the feel and looks and everything, I actually personally really like. They did really good and I have to give it up now because I'm getting a new phone. But you can look forward to that review coming up very soon. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.